our first face cast from Autodesk University. Thanks for joining us. As you may remember, I'm Mariel Covington. I'm a marketing manager here at Autodesk, and I have two lucky guys here today sitting in a beautiful car. Um, I'm very, very excited to be joined by John w Wells, the senior designer from Morgan Motor Company, as well as Chris Rufo, who is in our marketing department here at Autodesk. Welcome to you both. Exciting to be uh, here at Autodesk University. How are you guys enjoying your time? Wonderful. Good? Good. Good. So um, we're here to talk a little bit today about how Morgan Motors is using the AutoCAD design suite specifically um, to help build their cars like this beauty we have right here. So John, um, if you could maybe give us a little bit of an idea of the history behind Morgan Motors and how you guys came about as a, as a company. Sure. Well, Morgan Motors Company is around 103 years old now. And traditionally we've built cars initially with three wheels and then we evolved to build four wheel cars. But we celebrated the, the founding of the company with three wheelers last year with this 2012 Morgan three wheeler. So Morgan cars are entirely handmade vehicles. We use aluminium, leather and ash wood and we coach build very traditional cars on top of very modern chassis platforms. Each car is completely bespoke to the customer and they choose every little detail down to the leather and the stitch work and the paint colours. So this particular car now was designed entirely using the Autodesk, or also CAD design suite, the ultimate edition. This gives us alias and showcase for the vid stuff. And the importance of this for us is that we can design a car very accurately on screen, sell this idea and visualize it, but then relate this data into the shop floor where the initial concept car can be handmade. So the handmaking process of coach building a car can be quite time consuming. So being able to get the car proportionally correct and visualized on screen first has added a great deal of efficiency to what is otherwise a quite time consuming process. So, thank you. Brilliant, so super form panels, hand beaten panels, leather, wood, very traditional uh, automobile, it looks fantastic. So tell us specifically about some of your favorite tools in the suite and how they relate to what looks like a very traditional design process, but is really quite modern sure. when, when you look at it. Sure, okay. Well, um, the main tool for me and my initial training was all based around the alias, the alias programs. The, the suite gives us alias and showcase and Studio Max too, and also Sketchbook. So we use these as tools in the pencil case almost. We have no dedicated CAD seats. So for us, it's important to have a suite that gives you lots of varied functionality and satisfies it at a level that we need it to. So. We do a bit of sketching at the start. Quite often I'll do this on the iPad. I'm beginning to leave the sketchbook at home now and I'm, I'm doing a great deal of this on the iPad. We then relate this sketch work straight into Alias. And Alias is great because you can either create concept surfaces and do things that are quite imaginative. And quite often you'll, you'll create your curve network and then surfaces will start appearing that actually give you new ideas. So you can really use it as a design tool. But on the flip side of that, you can also be very accurate with it, and we'll use it as a very technical surfacing program. Um, and this, these surfaces will then go on to be A-classed and actually used for the panel work. So Alias has a great deal of functionality. With the inbuilt visualization it's had over the last couple of years, that gives us the ability to visualize this very fast rather than having to jump from platform to platform. So next is then Showcase, and we'll come from there into Showcase, which is the ultimate tool for just selling a design and presenting an idea whether it's the engineers demonstrating mechanical relationships between components, or whether it's ourselves selling ideas to directors, or even visualizing the customer specification with the customer. They can come in and pick the options and we can create a showcase scene that helps us bespoke tailor-made cars on screen with the customer before they get their car and come to the factory to visit the car being built. And then we've got Studio Max too, and that's great for the animations and the really high quality viz stuff. Um, and that's wonderful. We can have a, an animation playing next to a concept vehicle at a show. The concept may just be an exterior body, a display of the aesthetic, but the animation can be showing the gubbins and the mechanical underpinnings. So that's a really powerful tool for us as well. So design visualization is a really important part of your workflow. Give us a couple more examples of how you're using Showcase. I understand you use it in ac the actual uh, um, kiosk design yep. of your of sure. in your marketing. Well, within the design team, there's there's a small team in development. Each, each chap has a, a very varied 
job title you know we, we all do a great deal of different responsibilities within the company in the actual aesthetic design department there's there's three of us and we will do everything from the, the vehicle design to the actual branding mm -hmm. and the marketing material show stand design all of this sort of stuff so if we've got a powerful tool that we can use to speed this up um, then we're going to use it so we'll use showcase to visualize the show stands at the big motor shows we do you can then walk through this and present the idea to an investor perhaps who's helping us with the cost of the stand or to the wood shop that are going to be building the thing. So we use it for the show stand stuff. We use it for the, the promotional material. Quite often print deadlines for brochures precede the actual cars getting built. So we'll use Showcase to sell the cars. In the case of the three-wheeler, we launched a load of promotional material generated on Showcase before we even built a car. And based on that material alone, we sold 250 vehicles. So it shows the power of being able to visualize at that level so quickly and easily. But we also apply this to smaller products, whether it's a steering wheel or a diffuser or any, any design idea that we're trying to sell with as much accuracy as possible. Even a product in the shop, you know, a completely non-automotive entity. So um, it gives us the ability to present and sell ideas before right. we've actually spent any money. <laughs> so, so tell us a little, a little bit about why you chose the AutoCAD design suite over, say, individual products from Autodesk? Sure. Well, the design suites give you a great deal of functionality. They give you the alias, the, the technical modeling, the concept modeling, the sketch-based materials, the, the showcase, um, the 3DS Max, all of these different areas. And uh, to be able to have all of those different tools in one go is really powerful. I mean, if we were, if we had dedicated CAD seats, we'd probably have a complete version of Alias maybe, but as a designer, it's a really great plug-in package that just complements every stage of our workflow at the moment. Absolutely. So. And one final question before sure. I hand it back to Marielle. Tell, we, we hear a lot about the cloud here at Autodesk University. Yeah. Tell, tell us your thoughts for the Morgan, Mor Morgan Motor Company around the use sure. of the cloud. Sure, well, the Morgan Motor Company are busier than ever. We're constantly trying to innovate and constantly trying to create new ideas and we're selling more cars than we've ever sold before. So it's becoming more and more important for us to speed up our workflow. So we're working really closely with Autodesk mm -hmm. and we're looking at using some of the Creative 360, the PLM based software and mm -hmm. being able to project manage with much more efficiency and bring in all our different influences and have them all in one place that's easy to work your way through is very important to us being able to process using the cloud and create ray traced visuals files or do simulations and get the results a great deal quicker doesn't just mean we can rush through the project faster it means we can actually simulate more and analyze more and in the same amount of time end up with a much more resolved product um, also our workflow is quite cyclic so we'll do a great deal of sketching and then we're doing surfacing and then we're doing viz and then we're doing promo so to be at it take components from the cloud and use them as and when is quite a powerful part as well without having to invest in heavy workstations and a great deal of resource and budget budget constraints so absolutely brilliant thank you so much for sharing absolutely. your insight no so john i had one final question um you know when i began learning about morgan motors i was really surprised to learn that you guys are really a, a pretty small business you know when you think about traditional automobile manufacturers of Toyota and Audis of the world, there's thousands of employees, and you guys just have a couple hundred. So, you know, maybe if you could speak a little bit, we have a lot of small businesses that are tuning in today. What do you think um, is the difference by using, you know, the design suite versus just the standalone pro uh, products to really help your, extend your business and compete with the big guys? Sure. I think um, you're completely right in saying Morgan is a very small company relatively speaking. We've got 180 employees in total. That's everyone on a shop floor and in, in the various departments. In the actual design and development department, there's 11 of us. And as I mentioned earlier, each guy has got a, a very varied work list. Um, but we still have to be seen to be innovating, to be doing new products, reinforcing integrity and approaching new markets in doing so. So I argue a little bit that it's actually within this small team, when you're all working in such close confides that innovation is more likely to occur because you're not designing a product that then gets passed on and the next department goes oh, okay but we can't do this and then that changes and nothing gets lost working next to an engineer and next to a homologation expert in the same room means I'm considering this right from the start but the only way you can sell a design and pitch it to each other 
and put across your ideas when you're in such a small team with such high demand is having a variety of tools that enables you to very quickly do that. So, um, so yeah, well, a small team does give you the ability to innovate and for those ideas to remain in the car right throughout the process from conception to build. It's very important to us to have a suite of tools that gives us the ability to satisfy each stage of that process. Okay. So. Thank you so much, John, for joining us, and Chris as well. Thank you all fans for tuning in. Um, as you've heard, AutoCAD Design Suite um, provides a great deal of you know, ease and workflows, um, such as small business like Morgan Motors. Um, if you want to check it out, go onto the AutoCAD Facebook page, and you can download a free trial of the AutoCAD Design Suite right there from Facebook. Thank you all for joining us. We will be live again in just under three hours. So um, please stay tuned on the FaceCast tab on the page. Uh, we will be joined, Charlie Crocker will be joined uh, by Justin Hoy to talk a little bit about the new Autodesk Fusion 360. So stay tuned. Thanks.